in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Make sure you are praying everywhere. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. 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 It's a very simple song. of your glory fall let the weight of your glory fall this is a cry from a generation that is desperate for revival let it cover all the let it cover the north let it cover the south sing let the weight of your glory fall lord we want to see revival break out in cities and nations let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Sing it as a desperate one. song years ago as a desperate communication of the spirit it was a desire to see the fire of God 
it was a desire to see authentic apostolic revival break out in cities it's a very very prophetic song these are deep songs these are the kinds of songs the bible calls the songs of moses songs that stem out of a bowel of hunger they are not songs to make money they are not just songs that you communicate to while away time it's a song that you sing when you truly have passion for the things of god can we sing this song one more time with revelation let the weight of your glory fall let the weight of your glory fall in mount zion the side of the north Desperate communication of our desire for true revival. That's all, just a very simple song. Christ say, Yahweh. the veil. Yahweh. Let the veil be rent into two and let us see deeper. Yahweh. 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 One more time. Yahweh. Holy is the one who reigns. Holy is the one who reigns. Worthy is the one who sits up fire. Mabala Basila Mapre Shalakare. Sheba Kapradila Manakata. Come on, just press and let's worship for a while. There is a spirit of worship. Adonai, you're the Lamb of God. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. This is our travail tonight. Let your kingdom break in our heart. Adonai. Adonai. Adonai.
very simple chant says, yeah. Sing in the spirit. Sing in the spirit. Sing in tongues. Sheka bakata balada bakana na 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 na. Sheka ya na 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 na. Sheka ya makaba ya na na. Sheka ya na 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 na. Sheka ya na 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 na. We sing to you a new song, O God. God I tell you the portals of heaven are open mightily over this place the hunger of a man can draw the presence of God and when he shows up you are changed as we bask in your glory oh God let us be changed we are the uncompromising remnant that will not bow we will travel until we see the glory of god arise upon this nation and upon the continent of africa we travel on behalf of nigeria the firstborn of god in africa we will not sell our birthright but we will contend to represent authentic apostolic christianity foundation We strive to see your kingdom come. This is our desire, Lord. Beyond everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to just pray one prayer and say, Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your glory be revealed. Let your kingdom come. And then the eyes of the blind will be opened. When his kingdom comes. And then once again we will hear the authentic sound. Of the shofar of the spirit. It will rise above every noise of religion. And every noise of tradition and falsehood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, 
we seek only one thing not the building of a ministry not the fame of men of God we seek only one thing that we become envoys of your kingdom men who are furnished by the fires of the spirit men of understanding and power men of light we give you praise tonight I pray that the bread of the spirit be broken we contend for the hallowed bread of the spirit show us deep things oh God cause our eyes to be open reveal your glory in strange dimensions open us up oh God let the seals be broken let the scroll be open and let our eyes see show us what the father saw we contend for the ancient part we refuse to be deceived let the light of God take us to the holy hill of the one who called us and may we become mighty men May we become mighty men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Please greet one another and be seated. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you. It was a great time of worship. Please be seated. Hallelujah. There is an end to this pursuit. We are not chasing after shadows. We are not... Um, We're not just trying to do the things that we're doing because we are alive and we have to continue the traditions of religion. I need you to know that God is so grateful when he finds a people who are interested in him, not just what he can give, not the prosperity, not marriage, men who are addicted to the values of the kingdom who love him above and beyond what this life can give. Hallelujah. We are the hope of this world. You must believe this. Don't ever think you are little. For in the days to come, even the the smallest spark of light will be of benefit to men. Gross darkness will come upon this earth. It's already happening. But the Bible says upon you, it says you will arise and you will shine. Not only will you shine the light, you will become the light. Hallelujah. The secret of spiritual growth is progressive revelation. There is nothing else that can make a man grow. The Bible says that when God made man in the Garden of Eden, the life that they had was supposed to be sustained by the continuous eating of the trees of the garden. They were not eating it for hunger. They were eating it because it had the capacity. It was called the tree of life. It had the, the capacity to give life. And that tree is the accurate revelation of the word of God. So as we receive the word of God, there is an unveiling of the reality of this life, this Zoe life that we talk about. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm excited because many of you may not realize that every great revival started with a movement that was concealed. People did not know that this was how far God would go until the fire became so much that no devil could stop and he began to move from city to city hallelujah there's an army rising now there's an army There's an army rising up to break every chain, 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 break every chain. Can you just sing that part? There's an army rising up. There's an army. We are this mighty army. There's an army rising up. There's an army that is rising up. There's an army We're rising up to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet began to speak. Malachi the prophet started speaking and he said, there will be a sign that will characterize the coming of Jesus. He says, shortly before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come again. Hallelujah. Did you know that the Bible never tells us anything about Elijah's birth, origin, it just tells us this this wicked system this she goddess called jezebel who was married to the king jezebel was a witch she was not a wife that's why she reappears in revelation again in the book of revelation jezebel reemerges again hallelujah the personality jezebel was an adumbration of a system hallelujah and the Bible says during her time, the prophets of God suffered so much. The prophets of Baal were reigning and they locked up and killed the prophets of God. Suddenly, a strange man without origin just emerged. The Bible says, and Elijah the Tishbite. From where he came, we don't know. We don't know who, where he was taught the things that he knew. The Bible says he was a representative of his spirit. Elijah represented the sword of God. And the Bible says when he showed up, he showed up for one assignment. To conquer that she goddess. And afterwards he left. Who is this strange man? Because we see him reimagine again. Jezebel is still in revelation. Elijah is still in revelation. Where did he come from? Did he just appear and Elijah the Tishbite? Where was he trained? Who taught him that the eye of witchcraft could not find? And Elijah the Tishbite rose up as a cry. The prophets of God were suffering. Only about 400 of them were being kept in disguise by a man called Obediah. No prophet could lift up his head and prophesy the counsel of God. And the Bible says in response to their cry, one great prophet, Elijah the Tishbite. A single man who terrorized the system of Jezebel and brought her to her knees. And the Bible says, before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come back again. But he will not come back as a person he will come back as an apostolic generation. Are you getting my point? And it's in the similitude of what was adumbrated in the Old Testament. Nobody understood. Nobody knew about the training. He was, he was a strange manifestation. The 
Bible says Elijah the Tishbite and this is the making of Elijah's the spirit the authentic spirit of prophecy that will arise this is how his kingdom will come hallelujah and Elijah the Tishbite suddenly showed up and he began to cause havoc to this godless system I need you to know that you are a representative of this spirit of Elijah this authentic apostolic and prophetic spirit and the first assignment of Elijah is to destroy the altars are you getting my point the first assignment of Elijah is not to call the names and phone numbers of people the first assignment of Elijah is to come in with a dimension of God that has not been seen that will bring the powers that be to their knees this is why I raised this song to break every chain a reemergence of the Elijah spirit hallelujah thank you Jesus tonight I have I've just been praying for the teachings that we're going to be bringing that not only will we get puffed up with Rema and knowledge hallelujah but that these teachings will sustain an ability to cause radical transformation in our lives we have said this is a season of light and brothers and sisters let me tell you there is a level of light that you carry you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness this is what we are training we are training you to become a light a light you will be so bright the powers of darkness cannot ignore our job is to expose the works of darkness and to bring people to accurate spiritual understanding hallelujah thank you Jesus first Timothy 4 verse 1 let's rush he won't stop till we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop Till we lose just like him. God is birthing something strange in these days. God is revealing something new in our midst. He won't stop. He won't stop until we lose just like him he won't stop he won't stop first Timothy 4 verse 1 now the spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons stop the Bible says in the latter time there are certain people who for some reason will depart from the faith and will begin to give heed to what deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons very interesting it didn't say doctrines that were taught by demons doctrines that were manufactured from the pit of hell and brought taught accurately by demons verse 2 speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with hot iron verse 3 forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from food which God has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth the last verse verse 4 for every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it's received with thanksgiving. Let's just stop there. Hallelujah. We're examining three things tonight. Tonight, we're going to be studying the scripture. Hallelujah. 
everybody say I receive light when when our eyes are open we will be able to mature and comprehend the things of the spirit deeper let me tell you something listen do you know what scares demons and principalities and powers it's not the statue of a man or woman are you getting my point it's not your english it's not your degree hallelujah but the degree of light the degree of light when you see the spiritual structure of a believer you can know his level in the spirit by the degree of light are you following me now so at the mount of transfiguration jesus revealed to us how his spirit man was are you getting me it was light so bright that the people could not comprehend it and every time we come before his presence by revelation we keep contending to attain unto that dimension of light and the degree to which we conform to that light is the degree to which we rise to maturity and that's a product of revelation the difference between revelation and information is that revelation transforms information just gives you awareness if it is revelation it must change you it was designed to change you if you truly understand it hallelujah praise the lord the bible says in the latter days verse one again please that men will give room to deceiving spirits who are these spirits where did they come from what is their ministry please pay attention brothers and sisters we are in a day and age that if you lack spiritual intelligence you will die are you following me now we need it as a matter of urgency In every generation, there is always a contention of light and darkness. There are people who just go around as social beings. But there are certain people who understand spiritual things and are anointed to communicate the counsel of God to make sure that the banner of the kingdom is lifted throughout that generation. And we happen to be that generation. So it's important for everybody to pay attention. There's a lot of error going on in the body of Christ. Listen, please. Hallelujah. And the error that is going on in the body of Christ is so deep, it calls for immediate response. Hallelujah. If we do not respond to the tragedy that is happening in the body of Christ, and we allow this Jezebel to strangle away the prophets of God. If Elijah's do not arise, a time will come there will be no prophets who will speak the counsel of God. Are you following me now? There's a lot going on in the body of Christ, the continent of Africa, and especially our dear country, Nigeria. Nigeria is the firstborn of Africa. We are the model to the... The continent of Africa in terms of spirituality. Hallelujah. And it's important that we preserve the things of the spirit. There are three errors in the body of Christ. That we trust God to address and correct tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's called apostasy. You know what apostasy is? Apostasy is a departure from the accurate truth of God's word. A departure. I preached a message, I think it was last year or year before last, the apostate church, you can get it and listen. A departure from, not, listen, listen, please. I, I don't mean the departure from a doctrine. I mean a departure from the known patterns of God. Everything about the building of God's kingdom is not left for the discretion of man. Are you following me now? There is a pattern. 
God in his nature will not allow man to build his kingdom his own way. It has always been the character of God to create a pattern for man to access him. So apostasy is when by the activity of wicked spirits, men begin to deviate from the accurate pattern of God. And the Bible says this will happen in the latter times that some will depart from the faith. What faith? Christianity? No. 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 God never called us Christians. What is the faith? The pattern. There is a pattern that our fathers followed. They knew something that made them walk with God. They knew something that made the, the kingdom of darkness quake before them. And there is a gradual deviation. Please listen to me. The church in Nigeria is deviating fast. And there's got to be an, an intervention of Elijah. Because the few prophets of God who are left in the country are facing a lot. Jezebel is is prospering on our pulpits in our churches across different places and the prophets of god the true prophetic and apostolic voices are being quieted until elijah rises and that there be an open contention between light and darkness to return the body of christ back to pattern otherwise we are going to lose it and will miss it not just as a continent not just as a nation but as a people hallelujah say amen thank you jesus matthew 13 verse 25 matthew 13 jesus began to explain to us the tragedy that will befall the church matthew 13 let's start from verse 23 or 24 let's let's make it 24 and another parable he put forth to them saying the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed that man listen that man is God and his purposes and counsel. So how did it start? It started with good seed. Is that true? He sowed good seed. He created a pattern. But something happened. 25. The first four words. One, two, go. But while men. This is how the spirit of the Antichrist began to enter the church. It began to cause men to sleep. The Bible says that a time came when the eyes of Eli started getting dim. And remember the Bible says the eye is the light of the body. That means if your eye is closed, there is no more light. No more illumination. There is no more access to divine things. And the Bible says that the eye of Eli started getting very dim. And that continued until it got to a point where men slept hallelujah while men slept when they began to intercourse with babylon when they began to respond to the promptings of this antichrist system when they began to do ministry by doctrines and patterns and methods that are not consistent with the way of god the bible says they started giving heed to deceiving spirits are you following me please and they started embracing the doctrines of demons and men slept and then the enemy came and did what so tears this is what is happening to the nigerian church there is a mixing of that which is authentic with that which is counterfeit and all of them are being mixed in our churches in our parishes in our assemblies and right now there is so much confusion it will take the accurate eye of the eagle that is brought forth by the spirit of elijah to divide between bones and marrow and show the church that no matter how this looks this is not of god hallelujah 
Because the Bible tells us something, verse 26. It says, But when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop, then the tears also did what? Appear. That means when they sowed it, it was there as a tendency, but it had not yet manifested. Are you getting my point now? A lot of people started ministry hearing the voice of God, but they did not stay in the spirit for the Holy Ghost to keep walking, walking on them and pruning out anything that does not become like Christ. Eventually, as the ministry started expanding, as the membership started expanding, they noticed a strange thing happening in the assemblies that there were also tears that were growing. Verse 27. It says, so the servants of the owner came and said, Sir, did you not sow good seed? In other words, who gave these pastors this message? Where did this rema come from? Where did this doctrine, these revelations that we have built ministries, we have held conventions and meetings with teachings that have no bearing with the patterns of the kingdom? The Bible says they ask a question. Did you not sow good seed? What happened on the way? How then does it have tears? 28. This is what made a lot of men of God think that what they are doing is right. Because in the wisdom of God and for the sake of we the elect of God, he said, no. The, see, he said, the enemy has done this. And the servant said to him, do you want us to go and gather them? That means, should we start pruning? He said, ah, in the midst of these tears, there are genuine people. They are not strong enough to stand the heat of separation. So let them grow. Verse 28, 29 now. He says, but he said, no, lest while you gather up the tears, you will also hurt the wheat. Are you getting my point now? And so God allowed many churches and many ministries to grow. In spite of their wrong doctrines, money was still coming. Are you getting my point? Membership was still coming. And because of that, a lot of people thought it was an endorsement that they were doing the right things. But right now, the spirit of Elijah is suddenly showing up because the, the, the wheat has become matured enough for the separation to begin to take place. And the Bible says, 30 now, let both grow together. So no problem. Let the church grow even with the error. No problem. I will have a way by my wisdom to manage it. But a day will come, the separation will happen. Are you getting my point now? There are so many people that have stood upon our pulpits and said a lot of things that have God has no hand in it at all. There are many conventions in this country that God has no business with what is going on. Are you getting me? They have organized God out of church programs. They have gone for ministers' conferences and imbibed doctrines of demons by men and women who have no altar at all. hallelujah and the bible says let them both grow so they came back applied these things and it seemed to be producing results but right now it has gotten to a point where it's destroying the remnant of the house of god and except the spirit of elijah arises and addresses it the casualty will be too much it says until the harvest and at the time of the harvest, I will say unto the reapers, this is a strategy. First, gather together what? This is why we are beginning to attack these things because the season of the harvest is here. The Bible says, you guys are farmers speaking to the nation of Israel. He said, there is a way you can look at the atmosphere and you will know that the harvest is near. And bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn so it started with good seed the man of god started as a genuinely anointed person the ministry started as an authentic ministry but eventually while men began to sleep the bible says a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and it says poverty is not just lack deprivation of all sorts whether spiritual material and otherwise will come upon you suddenly like an arm bandit so this man began to sleep hallelujah 
and it was in that sleep you see this is listen how many of you have read the story of samson and delilah samson was a type of the church delilah was a wicked spirit are you getting my point now notice that samson was called to be a judge over israel and the bible says savior shall arise everything in the bible is prophetic it's an adumbration of something an adumbration means a foreshadow are you getting me a prophetic preplay of something that would happen samson was a man who was strong and he terrorized the philistines and then the bible notice every time men who symbolize the government of god appeared it was women that threw them down not women they were physical entities but this woman you know why woman because women have the capacity to give birth and reproduce their kind again this is why the bible calls this babylon this harlot in revelation 17 it says she's a woman that sits upon a beast that has seven horns seven heads and ten horns are you learning something tonight a terrible tragedy happening in the body of christ and listen when delilah came to samson she studied his weakness are you getting my point she carefully studied it she did not come with a sword i want to show you the mystery of men sleeping and the bible said she came and she donated her lap free of charge for him correct the first time you see the nature of the glory of god is that the glory of god does not depart suddenly when the glory of God in the vision that was shown Ezekiel, when it was leaving the temple, it left slowly. But adventure, the people would realize and repent. Hallelujah. The first time it happened, notice what is a woman looking for? Trying to know the source of a man's strength. She didn't say marry me. She didn't say sleep with me. She didn't say give me money. Are you following me now? she kept saying samson tell me the mystery behind your strength all she was concerned about was his anointing because it was with that anointing he will conquer the spirit of the antichrist are you getting me she wanted to kill the source of his strength and she found out that there was a relationship between his eyes his hair and his strength that was why when she captured him the first thing that happened was his hair the second thing that happened was his eyes I need you to know that all these women you see in the bible they were not normal they were envoys of demonic entities because they did certain things that did not make sense for instance why will herodias ask her daughter for dancing well she said make sure you tell the king that i want the head of john the baptist what do you do with head are you getting my point now there are many things that happen in bible that if you don't read with the spirit of revelation this is the error that many people have carried they have just read it theologically and they have bought for doctrines that are not accurate but the spirit of elijah comes dividing the word of god accurately hallelujah all through scripture we'll do a quick drive if it's possible as we as we continue and let me show you that disguising true people and stories has been the same battle the battle of light and darkness are you getting my point now for instance the bible tells us that before the coming of the lord again there will be a repetition of the days of noah did you read that in your bible what happened in the days of noah because you see when satan fell when satan fell there are so many things in my head now Let, let's just continue wherever we stop do you know what satan told the angels that made them to comply don't you think satan would have told them something that was really captivating for them to leave their estate and to come down to partner with him are you getting my point now because of satan's access to the presence of god he had knowledge of mysteries 
and the bible tells us that this man called satan or then the son of the morning rebelled he had a he had a political ambition all this ambition didn't start from the politicians there is a spirit and he he made this manifesto clear in isaiah 8 in 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 in, 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 in um uh what now isaiah 14 now I will do this i want to arise above the stars of god i want to be like the most high that was his manifesto but he deceived all of these people and when he was casted down he was casted together with a lot of other angels hallelujah and then when adam came i told you again that the garden of eden is not in the earth realm are you getting me that's why they cannot find it the garden of eden is still intact you go to the book of revelation you see the garden of eden still there with the tree of life nobody has taken anything that garden was withdrawn are you getting me it was a supernatural sphere the reason is look at the things that covered the garden a cherub and a flaming sword can a cherub and a flaming sword just cover something that is just three-dimensional hallelujah and man was driven out of that garden but there was a prophecy and this it was that prophecy that started this great battle are you getting me the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and satan knows that every time jesus speaks he already has a strategy are you getting me please follow this when one of the errors that i want to correct i hope we'll be able to establish it is how many of you have heard of that thing called familiar spirits have you heard that statement i will show you the origin of the activity of what we call familiar spirits familiar spirits are not just out to monitor your life they are out to monitor the strategy of the spirit for every season Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Where do we start from? Okay. Are you getting my story now? And then, when Adam and Eve, when Adam knew his wife, and she gave birth to Cain, listen please, Satan thought that Cain was going to be the person that God will use. Because they, he knew that God would need a man. Are you getting me? So Satan entered Cain. Are you getting my point now see i'm talking of the activity please let's go to first timothy 4 verse 1 again the, i want to show you the ministry of these deceiving spirits can you see where it started from lucifer deceived the angels are you getting my point now and they came down when man fell deceived eve satan always changes the patterns of god because every time god when god designed family please listen and 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 ladies you have to listen this is a very powerful message when god designed family i hope you know that god made man the head of that family is that true that means any correspondence through god according to his structure should go to the man notice how satan changed it satan went to the woman are you getting me and everywhere you see the manifestation of his spirit the woman there that figure tries to usurp it on the man jezebel are you seeing now herodias and all of these kinds of people this is what the bible calls the devices of the enemy stratomai the greek word his methodology it may have changed and metamorphosed through seasons but the pattern is the same that means when you sustain the eye of prophecy you can detect him at once are you learning something please so cain is born and satan makes a bargain with cain and cain begins to manifest another spirit and then the bible says how that abel shows up and satan suspecting that god may use abel began to move cain to kill abel are you seeing why cain why will cain kill his brother see it's time for you to begin to study the word not just to get sermons but for spiritual knowledge ask questions why will cain just kill the 
his brother. What for? Are you getting my point now? When Cain killed his brother, in a passage of time, the Bible says Cain started building a city. The Bible never told us that Cain was an architect. What made him to start lusting after building a city? It was the spirit of the Antichrist. Are you seeing? Because God wanted to build a city and name it after his son. So the spirit of the Antichrist through Cain built a city and named it after Enoch, his son. And that was where atrocity started from. Are you getting my point now? And then it got to the time of Noah. God suffered long with them. When it got to the time of Noah, listen to me, listen to me. Noah was a very strange man. He was not just an old bald-headed man. Noah walked with God. Are you getting me? Noah had a manuscript that he used to build the ark. The ark was not just built carelessly of gopher wood and so on and so forth. It was a prophetic message. Are you getting my point now? Noah had secrets that he knew that made him the head of the spiritual activity of that generation. He talked with God. He communicated with God. He understood the mystery of the flood. And that was the reason why, listen, please, listen, listen. When they came out, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, there were eight people again. Satan started looking for somebody else to enter. Are you getting my point? So Satan entered Ham. Are you getting my point? And the Bible says he saw his father's nakedness. He did not just see his father's nakedness. It's a coded word. He saw into the secret of what Noah was supposed to preserve. Why will a man curse his son for just seeing his nakedness and say you will be a servant of servants? Is that cost not too much just for seeing a man's nakedness? What of children that take care of their parents in the hospital and have to bath them and do other things? It was beyond just seeing a physical nakedness it was opening something spiritual that he was not prepared for he was it was every time men shifted from god's patterns they suffered this was why he caused Cain. i mean harm and the cause that was given to harm if you read your bible very well was that he was going to serve his brothers is that true now satan found expression through harm Go to Genesis 11. Don't you, I mean, you don't need to open it. But go to Genesis 11. What happened? Suddenly, another wizard who was the son of Cush, who was from the lineage of Ham. Are you seeing now? A man called Nimrod. Nimrod. Strange man. Just appeared from nowhere. A man who commanded such power. He was a lord. Are you getting my point now? How did Nimrod gain so much influence? And the Bible says Nimrod was a hunter. We never saw one animal that Nimrod hunted. What was he hunting? I will show you in the book of Revelation that he was hunting for souls. Because Satan suddenly realized that destroying men is not the way. So he says let's adopt them. And use them rather than killing them. Are you, are you getting my mystery tonight? Bible says it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom there are things you understand that the devil will run away from you because he knows that light has brought everything that is darkness to bear are you getting my point now the problem with we preachers is that we just cut a lot of stories and tell people things that when they join the puzzles together it doesn't make sense listen listen I think I was talking to um, the, the, the music director and, and the worship team chairman they came over to my place and I told them that I've been criticized for a lot of things one of it is this faith thing I believe in faith but I've said this thing again and again years ago that faith doesn't have to be on something you don't understand are you getting my point the true concept of faith it's not just built on shadows that cannot be understood i said it last week no pilot sits on a plane and says passengers i trust god that will arrive safely i've never learned how to fly this plane but you guys just sit back sit back and 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 and, and, and enjoy there's jehovah jireh there's jehovah sikenu there's our banner 
and all of that and then the people sit down and say hallelujah let's just be confessing we will arrive we will arrive plain corporate we are now at three thousand feet nobody does that are you getting my point now so faith is not a mystery it has been turned to look like anything in the kingdom you just understand just you don't understand just accept by faith have you had teachings like that god said it i may not understand it i don't care i want i don't want to understand it all i know is that satan is the bad guy jesus is the bad guy we are for jesus let's win him this is what americans are are shipping into nigeria and we are laughing and receiving it and holding massive conventions and misleading people whereas the bible says do not be unaware of the stratomai satan is not an idiot he has a, a strategy this guy stayed close to the presence of god are you learning something tonight so you see it nimrod kush he said go to let us build a city build a city again the same city that Cain tried to build and then the judgment of Noah cancelled everything now he says let us build a city and let us make a name for ourselves listen when you study Bible history please listen I want to show you the origin of occultism and witchcraft are you following me now don't say it does not concern you the word is making you mature believers are you getting my point now do you know the origin of this thing we call occultism and witchcraft Nimrod Kush according to Bible history was the son of Kush who married a woman called Samiramai are you getting me and because listen please this is very very important Samiramai was a witch these were people that were possessed they were incarnates of hell are you getting my point envoys that wanted to continue the agenda of god samira might killed kush her husband are you getting me and satan came and interpolate this thing satan came and made nimrod to believe that in this new move and in this kingdom he was going to make him lord he was going to be great and the price for that is that he will aberrate the normal progression of of human beings and then nimrod married his mother are you getting my point now so nimrod married are you seeing how satan was twatting the the do i call it the genetic code of human beings nimrod married his mother can you imagine now the son i don't know what what they're going to call the son now huh his mother is still his grandmother as ugly as it is listen this was the mystery of what began to happen to nimrod nimrod was a hunter of souls his job was to exert so much influence that he would bring people to himself because in revelation when he began to tell us about this mystery babylon and all the commodities she does business with it called the souls of men is that true is that true there's no time you see God, this time thing i wish like i feel like busy seeing this watch praise god <laughs> you just sing praise and worship and it's 10 o'clock praise god kai this time is limited bear with us honestly these are not the kinds of things that you don't just come and share a message and it's boiling in my spirit because i want us to get it praise the lord are you understanding my story all through scripture when you trace you will see that this spirit looks for women in every generation that will represent its operation and look for men that will compromise are you getting me that was where witchcraft and so on and so forth started and then all these things called divination and necromancers all of these things happened when saul was king there's no time but i hope you read your bible very well you remember that remember when saul was king saul dealt with diviners and necromancers is that true he frustrated them so much according to scripture there was only one woman that was left one sorcerer 
one necromancer and the bible says a time came when saul slept and he deviated all right it didn't use that exact word but i'm just using it when saul deviated from the things of god he went to go and consult her is it in your bible and when she met him he he, he concealed himself and she said ah don't disturb me Saul, is, Saul has made life bad for us. No business in this city again. And he said, no problem. I vow I will not tell Saul. And he said, whose spirit should I invoke? I'm going to show you how men of God operate what you call the prophetic. That they invoke the spirit of the dead. Correct? It's happening in many churches. Somebody dies and they invoke the spirit of that dead person. I want to show you how they use necromancy. And when they do that, they invoke that. And the Bible says she invoked in her vision. She was seeing an old man coming. And Saul, and Saul told her, I said, who do you, do you see him? Tell me about his appearance. And Saul from and Samuel now seemingly from the vision told her the man that is standing with you is Saul. And she turned, she said, ah, ah. Are you not Saul? He said, ah, sorry, it's true. I'm Saul. But call me the spirit of Samuel. You think that was Samuel? He looked like Samuel. Talked like Samuel. Where did these spirits come from? I want to show you. See, it didn't start with Africa. So don't let westernization tell you these things are unnecessary. They have been there in scripture. And if we don't gain knowledge of this truth, we will die like mere men. hallelujah help us lord diviners and different people let me tell you something that happened see most of these entities that you call how many of you have heard of demons being disembodied spirits have you heard that word disembodied spirits what does that mean that means that they are spirits that do not have a body to find expression is that true that means they are consistently under frustration jesus himself taught us that when that spirit leaves a man it becomes restless because they need material medium to communicate there is a law in the earth realm that if you do not have a body you cannot function here are you getting my point let me tell you how this demon started i hope we have time can i talk to you see the bible says listen demons are not the uh, they are not the only wicked entities in the satanic kingdom demons are just a class of wicked spirits there are others for instance principalities they are not demons are you getting me i have come to the end of myself take over jehovah I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Listen. I hope you believe what I'm telling you listen how many of you have seen certain people maybe those who do a lot of occultic things when they leave their body they make sure they close the room so that nobody comes to push their body you know why because they must return the same way they left if you shift their body they are not dead but the spirits cannot return to the body again are you understanding what i'm saying there are many spiritual entities like that in the spirit realm please listen to me i want to tell you some things that will bless you we said this is a year of light this is solid meat light that keeps you in command dominion will happen naturally you don't claim it light brings you into it are you getting my point we are we are demystifying this deity called satan once and for all so that you will know that the church will truly be a victorious church listen satan led these demon spirits are you getting i mean angels now are you getting my point now this was what because it is within the character 
of angels to translate themselves is that true that means they can change state there are different kinds of angels maybe when we deal with angels we talk there is a northern army there are different there are messenger angels there are cherubs there are seraphs there are different kinds of angels now satan led a campaign and told these guys together with I've, I've, i said it the last time apollyon leviathan have you heard of all these spirits they were real spirits together satan didn't just do alone it was supposed to be that he would spearhead the rebellion and if it worked it would be chop by chop so all the demons that helped him are you getting my point now <laughs> when you read the book of psalms and see the things that the psalmist began to speak you will see that the spirit of revelation was upon him hallelujah are you getting blessed can we continue all right please make sure you are listening this is not let me tell you something with revelation if you get too used to it the devil can use it and kill you are you getting my point he won't kill you just by oppressing you he will make you so puffed up revelation that should deliver you is not delivering you but anybody who wants to talk to you you will begin to break these scriptures and say let me give you a rundown of how everything started and then it's not help this is what is happening so we must open up ourselves and please listen i'm serious and contend for change this is not to equip you to now run to your fellowship or your church and say for the next four months i have a message and this is what people do and then start running and say ah i must do this i must do this there are angels there's apollyon have you heard of him and they say wow from whence cometh this kind we have not seen it in this fashion the goal of revelation is not entertainment brothers and sisters is to equip you with light that dispels every darkness hallelujah now listen these angels translated themselves are you getting my point in the days of noah and they started having intercourse with women physical women that means you know that the child they will give birth to will not be pure human that's the origin of giants are you seeing that that's why the children that they had six fingers six to superhuman abilities can i surprise you that breed is still in the earth today this is what scientists saw that they called x-men what is x former what was the revelation behind their producing these films you were just watching and eating popcorn in cinema and nodding whereas this is a mystery they know a war is coming all of these scientific films keep telling you a war is coming and that battle is between mankind and another race this was the whole subject of lord of the rings and they had to consult other kingdoms and bring their kings together and it was a human I, one little boy called frodo that carried the ring a symbol of authority all the other kingdoms backed him up these things are spiritual messages these scientists through through zodiac and and astrology and all kinds of divination they can peep into spiritual things it's not that they know the future are you getting me how do i put it now help me look at me how many of you know which country is ahead of Nigeria, time-wise? What? What is UK? How can you say UK? Us, let's, let's just assume, please listen, we, we don't have time. Let's assume Australia. How many of you know that when Australia is saying 18th, we are still in 17th? So that ability to peep ahead, that's what happens in the realm of the spirit. Because of the regulation of times and seasons. Are you getting my point? It, this is what is adumbrated in geography that it is possible for one region to begin to access certain things before the other one it happens in the spirit too and this is the principle of divination help us so God Take me to the place, the place you are, that secret place. Take us, Lord. 
That's where I want to be Take me to the place The place you are The secret place That's where I want to be That's where I want to be Let's rush Error number one I touched it in the realities of heaven and hell but I just feel like touching it again because the message didn't strike the chord the way I want. So I want to touch on the issue again. Messages from hell, divine realms. That's number one error that needs to be. L listen to me. I don't know how many women have shaved their hair, sold their cover shoes, and did a lot of things because, listen, this is a very serious message right now. Certain people claim they went to heaven or went to hell listen i explain all these planes to you and you will see sense in what i'm saying now and they brought the core message in the body of christ now is not the bible again is who came with what from where are you getting my point these are the deceiving spirits and the doctrines of demons remember the bible says if god did not cut the time even with the elect can be deceived what kind of great deception can make people to see a lie and take it as true. Are you getting my point? It must be a great deception. So, what is it? The Bible says, or the people, the story. Somebody just comes back. Oh, I went to hell. And then you print CDs, you print books. Now, there are a few people who will trust their experiences. Very few. As a matter of fact, they were the initial people. People like like um what's her name mary baxter and so on and so forth all these many things that they do now those people when they came back they even gave the cities free because of how much they wanted to be dissociated with this world huh but right now what we have is nonsense and there are many church pastors in an attempt to show piety and response to spiritual things this is the result of sleep they invite all these people, these, these people, and they come back. Uh, they come to pulpit and cry. Ah, I went to hell. I saw your mother. I thought your mother died. She gave me a message. It's her name, not Jane. You say, yes, my mother's name is Jane. I saw Jane. I saw Jane. She was crying in hell, and she could talk. Crying. Have you, have you seen a house catching fire? Have you seen the people inside? listen please this is not criticism please i'm just addressing something this is the spirit of elijah are you get what i'm saying a lot of people came with revelations those of you inside outside if you are hearing me shout praise the lord listen these revelations are destroying churches right now destroying families are you getting my point people came ah you went to hell why did you go to hell your skirts didn't reach here why did you go to hell okay um this pastor you were supposed to drop five naira what where is the five naira that's where you are going somebody went to hell seemingly and brought back the list of the names of almost every man of god alive right now that they are sure candidates of hell this is somebody that got born again. He was not up to three weeks. And he seemingly went to hell. I will show you the mystery of what is happening. I wish we have time tonight. I would have shown you something powerful. It's the strategy of the devil. The people are innocent. Are you getting my point? Don't be angry at the people. They do not even know that they themselves are under deception. Paul says, I was caught up to the third heaven. That means there are other heavens. There is the astral realm. There are a lot of other realms. There are galaxies. All of these galaxies and planets. I hope you know some of them have inhabitants. This is the mystery of aliens. This is the mystery of aliens. There is a lot of story we don't know in the earth. They just gave birth to you in the middle of history. Is what they taught you from social studies to what again? Social science. History. Government. And then you read political.
political science or whatever it is and you believe you know the world no there is a lot more there is a lot more hallelujah there is a lot more there is a lot in this earth realm that we have there are portals in this realm there are many people you see in the earth realm that are not pure human beings they are moving like you they talk you've eaten with some of them in the restaurant they are not pure breeds these are agents of darkness preparing for the revival that is coming i read an article as far back as 19 i have the documentary as a matter of fact about people who went underground is that true they went underground and they saw a place designed by aliens that can see 20,000 people. And there is an altar in the middle. When you stand in that altar and talk, they will hear you everywhere. No mic. Verified scientifically. Don't you know there is a world under the earth? Philippians chapter 2. That every knee is not just talking about hell alone. What have they not told us, brothers and sisters, that is responsible? I will show you how this applies. So that you will see how your family got into it. Your innocent father from the village was just moving around. Nothing missing, nothing broken. He entered into what he didn't understand. Look at what a lot of believers are suffering in today. And one of the error, one of the error, that I wanted to talk about is the negligence of spiritual laws. Many of us have, listen, listen, and I don't say this to criticize. There is an exaggeration of what we call the grace message. I've said this thing again and again. Please don't be offended. I'm just telling you the truth in love. There is a jurisdiction to which when the grace message steps out, it will be misleading there are people right now that they almost don't read the old testament you open they say what are you doing with the law i have a question what is law what really is law what is the cause of the law that christ redeemed us from is it ten commandments is it other mosaic laws or ten commandments plus them is it spiritual laws a lot of people speak and say ah oh, all of this law is gone there's nothing law nothing again but you believe in the law of sowing and reaping and you teach give and it will be given and a lot of people say even god cannot do anything so which part of the law has been abolished we'll talk about that in another teaching we have a lot of series this is a year of light we trust god to open our eyes not to go and start criticizing people but to be the light a reference the devil is in trouble this year there are things I will explain to you, you will never be afraid of death again. There are things I will explain to you, you will know that even this mystery thing called deliverance, you will understand. Who are these people that follow people quietly to church and come and sit down? And later you say in the name of Jesus and all of these kinds of things, we will explain it. When you understand this, I'm telling you, you will just start laughing you won't even pray let me tell you there are two ways to bind the devil one is prayer the other is revelation when authentic light enters you you grow out of some things at once deliverance is going on right now it's just that many people their concept of deliverance is ah you fall down i want to cough i want to no no it's not it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things light is what drives away darkness permanently you see, that's why if, if I deliver Tosin, for instance, I lay hands on her and she rolls, rolls, rolls and stands up. Listen, and there is no light. Do you know why certain deliverances are so easy? It's not because the man is powerful. The demons are mocking the man. He has no spiritual intelligence. They just stroll out and allow him to go and he feels wow at once. As soon as the person goes out, they use anger or something and enter back together with the seven that they have gathered. This is why you find out that there are many churches and men of God struggling with deliverance again because the whole service from morning till night is deliverance. There is a balance. He sent forth his word and his word healed them and delivered them. 
But my only trouble is what people call word is not what God is calling word because their word is not healing. Their word is not delivering. That means it's not the word. Look at me. Ella is a fair lady. If I tell you Ella is coming to see you, expect a fair lady tying something in her head with, with a ribbon or what is that thing? You see that? Are you getting me? If I suddenly decide to come, am I Ella? If I tell you my name is Ella, this is how many people's revelation. I'm sending the word. It will do this right now. It's not doing it. And the Bible says if it is the word, some things should happen. So if it's not happening, it's not the word. It may be scripture. The word, listen. The word is not just this. Are you getting me? Because until the apostles came, there was no manuscript. But the people understood the word. So what did they call their word? What did they call their word of God? He said, ye are clean through the words that I've spoken to you. That word can clean you. That's what he's doing now. So divine revelations let's just look at one scripture luke 16 let's settle this issue once and for all please can we look at just one scripture we may not be able to touch the honestly there are three issues i thought we'll be able to talk about okay we are there there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple royalty and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day 20 and there was a certain beggar named Lazarus listen every time Jesus mentioned name it was not a parable necessarily it was a real experience you understand in Jesus's parables he described men by what they did not their names which was laid at his gate are you seeing the contrast now it says full of what source verse 21 and desiring to be fed with the crumbs so on and so forth 24 okay no 23 i saw something i'm looking for there ah we've gone far can we go to 22 let's start from there and it came to pass that who died that's lazarus right lazarus died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. That's another issue there. Hallelujah. And the rich man also died and was buried. So two of them died. They've now left the earth. Let's see the drama that happened. 23. And in hell. So a definite place. Hell. Is that true? He lifted up his eyes. Being in torment. And seeth Abraham afar off. All right that's abraham's bosom and i'll tell you why and lazarus hey i had a revelation brothers and sisters that opened me up do you know that unlike the teachings we have been teaching that abraham could not give birth because he was impotent is not true abraham slept with hagar did she get pregnant what is the impotency about him this was simple logic I said, come on, ah, is this not the Abraham where I say it is the deadness of his body and this, this guy slept with, with uh, Hagar and Hagar was strategically positioned by Satan in that place. See, when I show you these things and as we explore, you will see, ah, may God help and redefine our Christianity. You will see that Jacob was not a thief. Jacob was replacing what happened between Isaac and and ishmael you see that that thing that looked like <laughs> that's why it's not called god of abraham isaac and esau it's called god of Ab Din is god blind didn't he see esau it's called god of abraham isaac and in hell he lifted up his eyes being in torment and seared abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. So, it was in Abraham's bosom. Alright, 22. And he cried and said, this is the man now in hell. Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the, fin 
dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame um, that flame is not just fire like you know because I hope you know their physical bodies are in the earth here so what kind of fire will torture their spirit body it's not just the kind of your fire here spirits can walk through this fire are you getting me this is a strange kind of fire it's a fire that causes thirst when it destroys you it not only are you going through pain but it makes sure that there is thirst it can absorb everything and cause you with the feeling of thirst and it's very frustrating look at this guy he didn't say let him send um something to quench the fire he was asking for a drop of water and abraham said son remember in your lifetime you received good things this guy received evil but now he's comforted and thou art tormented 26 now divine revelation please listen and beside this there is a gulf between us so that they cannot pass here and there and there we'll talk about this another time hades abraham's bosom and so on and so forth 27 then he said listen i pray thee therefore father that that would they send him back to the earth are you seeing now send him back to the earth to my father's house so let's see see let's walk with what the bible says is that true do you believe the word of god you believe is the final authority and you believe it's a more sure word of prophecy so let's examine the word of god 28 for i have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into the place of torment so what was his request please come back to the earth with divine revelation abi go to my family and tell them ah i just came back from hell if they hear you their heart will melt and they'll change i don't want them to come here 29 what happened abraham said they have moses and the prophets let them hear them in other words it is not god's original strategy to bring people back from the world of the dead to come and bring revelation to the inhabitants of the earth abraham was saying listen this is not a normal route of god's dealings with people to make them grow are you getting what i'm saying abraham said they have moses the law and the prophets they are they are preachers already they should listen to them verse 30 and he said nay father abraham but if one went on to them from the, from the dead he said what they will repent is that true 31 and he said unto them if they hear not moses and the prophets neither will they be persuaded though one rose from the dead listen so these teachings of people going and coming say they went to the dead and they came back with messages and they saw this and that and that the bible tells us the living and the dead have no relationship is it in your bible is it in your bible that there is something that separates the living and the dead it is appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment i believe in the resurrection are you getting what i'm saying but by divination people's spirits have been invoked and a lot of things have happened can i tell you many of these places these people went to were certain realms in the spirit they had never been there please get what i'm saying some of these beings they encountered were not jesus christ they encountered spirits if you see a spirit in the realm of the spirit you will still need spiritual intelligence to relate with them because satan can appear as an angel of light jesus said it when he sent the 70 when they return he said i've seen satan's next strategy the next strategy is not to be a demon again he has translated himself as an angel of light and he's now going to go to pulpits as angel of light he was revealing to them a strategy he wasn't just telling them that satan has just fallen like that mm -mm. hallelujah satan saw that jesus could give his authority to men and they could legislate on his behalf he gave satan an idea of the next strategy he said why not i translate myself and come as an angel of light wear suit and start gathering these people rather than killing them let me use them so jesus began to tell the disciples i'm praying for you immediately i've seen something that will happen satan has now changed his state 
to become an angel of light and he's moving around as elders in churches moving around as overseers moving around as different things and recruiting men who are entering deception and delusion without knowing but we are this army that god is granting us light alongside many other remnants across the surface of the earth and we are the ones who will break the hold of darkness in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me show you one more scripture these are the scriptures that talk about out of body experiences paul now the apostle himself second corinthians chapter 12 please let's rush one error we have to kick out of the body of christ the messages the people bring notice listen the bible says you shall know a tree by what is fruit that's whatever proceeds from that tree is that not true that means like who who said it i think it was mike that said everything god creates he leaves an imprint of himself if god gives you a word and is from him there will be something about his karagma on that word how many people tell me the truth have been comforted by the recent divine revelation teachings how many that you know there are so many people who have gotten into religiosity people locked up their businesses people packed out of school other people went somewhere people just killed a lot of things fashion designers stopped their businesses they are broke now they are suffering because they told them that anything anything at all oh if you see we won it came from the the marine power if you understand satan you know that he does not have the power of creation he has an ability to mimic and corrupt that which is created are you getting my point now I, I, you can everybody has his personal belief and all of that i'm not but i'm just saying the reasons people are giving there is only one reason why people are in hell rejecting the gift of salvation that jesus brings are you getting my point oh a man of god did this this water was for bishop and he quickly drank it and when he was going out guy hit him and he found himself that means all of us are going to hell you see that is killing what the bible calls the assurance of salvation so many people even preachers they don't know again whether they are saved or not hallelujah many people don't know whether they are saved or not and now the only way because that's the next thing i wanted to talk about is the false presentation of the gospel of holiness because there is the authentic gospel of holiness i tell you this one may is probably one of the biggest disasters that has happened to the church what has been taught to be the gospel of holiness is not what jesus taught are you getting my point now because a lot of people believe they are going to go to heaven based on the things that they have kept and avoided or done this and that no sir hallelujah you have no right to take a revelation and begin to yoke it on people based on your perception of truth you see let me tell you something the army that god is raising is an army that must remain as students we must create a posture that shows that we are students such that you are not ashamed to confront the revelations you have held as authentic when you see a higher light we must have that humility there's nothing embarrassing to accept that look i may not have seen it in this light i was blind but now i see the bible talks about a man called apollos he was a learned man in acts 18 the last few verses and the bible says but he knew only the baptism of john is that true and then aquila and priscilla came they called him and they expounded to him more perfectly and he was humble enough to receive and then he now went to the temple and began to debate and argue intelligently There are lots of people in the body of Christ who are under bondage. Terrible bondage. 
that innocently came but is a product of the spirit of deception for instance there are many people who believe that if i let me use a lady come if i give this lady a hug more ah this this may be a problem i've done something i've compromised it can cost me my salvation and so because i have to shift to that religious mode listen please i'm not criticizing any any church are you following me now this is an apostolic teaching it's a teaching to the body of christ salvation is personal your dealings with god is personal and it's time for us to kick the walls that are stopping us from entering the authentic experience of the kingdom because of this right now the guy can sit down he does not yet have the ability to conquer lust but religious mold has made him to know or to feel that okay you must confirm and then people are looking at him and he looks like a sanctimonious brother whereas he's dying with masturbation because that's the only thing he can do and the devil says this is exactly what i want and then he uses it to bring condemnation and the guy gets up and before men he's wonderful and he's struggling and the sister is struggling and they go back and keep doing it there are all kinds of atrocities happening in our churches pastors sleeping with members many things are happening everybody carries a nice cloth and we come and hide under this demon called religion hallelujah that does not mean we'll be lawless this is the balance again because some other people in an attempt to address this just like me they tell people okay fine don't be religious don't do this dress anyhow do what you want to do say anything so you can be in the church i can be preaching and a lady can just come and i'll just hold her give her a nice peck and say sweet how you look sweet and you sit down those garbages will be part of what will exit out of the body of christ there is a lot of another dimension of imbalance are you getting my point now we have all kinds of carelessness i believe that these things are not the things that determine salvation but then there, there are some things that just don't make sense a man of god comes hanging all kinds of chains around him with all kinds of rings tearing his jeans sagging them i mean i'm not talking of a guest some a little youth meeting or boot camp this is the, the, the default he's the overseer of the ministry he comes with his glasses comes and all that is nonsense it's a spirit of seduction hallelujah a woman comes on stage and she's preaching half of the message the brothers are not following their minds are they are just struggling lord i will make heaven i need to grow this is another balance so let me balance it very quickly because there are a group of immature revivalists arising in their bid to contend these things in the flesh are just telling people be as lawless as you can be that's a sign that we're out of the law there is a balance we're a disciplined army we're not idiots liberty is not rebellion hallelujah thank you jesus second corinthians 12 from verse 3 to 4 did i say from verse 3 to 4 verse 3 and i knew such a man paul speaking listen please whether in the body or out of the body i cannot tell god knoweth for how that he was caught up into paradise and had what unspeakable words which are not lawful for men to what is that in your bible that means all these ones that people go have you not seen that many times when the apostles see revelation he tells them seal this is for an appointed time but now people come back with every message this is deception are you getting my point now there are a few people however 
who we have judged their revelations based on the integrity of God's word and we have found that their messages have brought healing and hope to the body of Christ for such kind of people we commend them and we endorse them but even at that point their word does not become the final the final uh, what do we call it now this thing that they yardstick I cannot begin to run my ministry after Mary Baxter's vision are you getting my point I've had a lot of visions I live in the realm of visions I can never run ministry just based on visions ask the leaders every time I see anything no matter how authentic the experience is the word of God must prove it not confirm it prove it prove it the Bible didn't say confirm all things it said prove all things if you are looking for confirmation you will find it you will find a scripture that endorses a man sleeping with a woman although they are not married it's in the Bible the Bible is a prophetic book you can make it speak any language you want the Bible did not say use the Bible just to confirm things prove it test the spirit behind it everybody now is looking for confirmation so we get the revelation from all kinds of realms that's the reason why you go to native doctors and the rest you see bibles there because since it's bible you want they keep it there for you when it's time to do the spell they say lay your hands on the bible and swear that you will be faithful and you swear but they'll still do their demonic things and you will be convinced that because there was a bible there it was god because of this deception you don't use the Bible for confirmation. The Bible proves all things, yet nothing proves it. When I talk of Bible, I'm not just talking about the error of men. I'm talking about the edited spirit word that is given. Hallelujah. What do I talk about again? I want to show you something one other error in the body of Christ is neglecting the reality of spiritual laws I said it everybody say it after me both inside and outside spiritual laws abound they exist they are real as real as physical laws look at me do you know why God did not kill Cain when he sinned because he knew that there were spiritual laws at work are you getting my point and those laws will catch up with him are you following me now when you violate certain things and some things happen to you it's not like god brought it there are laws are you getting my point jump from this building now praying in tongues as you are jumping for no reason it's not like they threw you to destroy you that you expect you expect the hand of god just jump from it what do you think will happen to you because of the existence of a law now watch this regardless of that law a plane still moves is that true does the movement of the plane stop the fact that there is that law it means it's operating by another law that shields it are you getting what i'm saying curses are real yokes are real manifestations of witchcraft in lives and families are real they are very real listen these are spiritual laws what light does for us is to tap into what christ has done and exempt ourselves are you getting me let's look at one scripture and then we'll pray that does it for today just one scripture i want to show you a scripture psalm 64 let's trace these activities of those we call familiar spirits every time i teach it's always in my culture to try to bring balance there is a lot of junk about deliverance demonology and so on and so forth however i believe that there is an accurate perspective that we can look at to gain understanding hear my voice oh god this was a psalmist praying by revelation preserve my life from the fear of the enemy too 
Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. Hmm. Who wet their tongue like a sword. That means these guys speak certain things. And bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words. Verse 4. He said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly they do shoot at him and fear not. Verse 5. It says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They, com they commune of lyingness privately. They say who shall see them? 6. They do what? They search out. Who are these people that search out? They go to an extent. Where did they write it? That they go back to archives and search out iniquities of families. Are you following me now? This is in your Bible. They search out iniquities. He said they accomplish a what? Diligent search. They are meticulous. When God opened my eyes to this, it surprised me. Are you getting my point now? Have you read that word? Blotting out every handwriting. So there are handwritings. Correct? There are ordinances. The Bible says they search out iniquities. Hallelujah. Maybe at another time I will continue this teaching of these angels that I told you. Because when they fell, listen, they wanted to translate themselves back to the angelic state they did not know that god had the power to stop them so in an attempt to translate themselves back they were stopped they are the ones who have become demons today are you getting me so they need material bodies to find expression this is the basis of traditionalists this is the basis of a lot of things that we celebrate in the rampant outbreak of the prophetic that we call word of knowledge you see it they search out i'm not saying everything is corrupt are you getting my point now but i'm telling you that many of these things otherwise how can a herbalist look at you how many of you have seen these guys that scam and swindle people in a car and sometimes they will give you an they will take you to one baba right and give you an accurate word of knowledge how did they know because they don't have the holy spirit so there must be some spiritual system hmm. they search out iniquities it is on the basis of this search that lucifer satan the accuser of the brethren are you getting me now based on these findings this is what he reports and he says god according to your justice this is what has happened that means there is a law that should follow this family are you getting my point and suddenly you find out women are not getting married people are not getting married things are not working nothing is working anybody comes to you for a relationship what will happen to him in two weeks nobody will tell him he will pack his load by himself and go and you are wondering what in the world is going on listen listen it is demonic many of us and our loved ones are victims of these things but they've told you hallelujah just believe it's not there again you say it's not there again you went back it's still there this thing is following you you see patterns i told you this thing satan wants transgenerational allegiance many students you are very brilliant like exam right now you go to the class and you find out that you black out in all sincerity other people think you are lazy you know you are not lazy there is a puzzle somewhere you are trying to understand now you come to the ministers and they tell you did you read yes they say all right i speak over you it is well and demons just mock the men of god and say look at how shallow and the student goes back and gets the same kind of tragedy but when there is light darkness must bow this is the reason why you are hearing testimonies of sudden admissions sudden this and that see 
brothers and sisters i taught you that every time you speak the realm of the spirit will check what revelation you are standing on are you seeing why some people's words are not powerful because when you speak the devil knows you don't even know what you are saying you are just carrying the delusion of faith and you're just saying i speak leave this family now based on what what is the spiritual intelligence that sponsors that statement when you have it there is light in your spirit and it is that light that will force that dimension of darkness that's why sometimes you can see as we are teaching the power of god just breaks out and demons are living or maybe during the miracle service these things are not magic it's a product of light are you getting my point as you're sitting under this teaching now a lot of things are suddenly coming in your mind are you getting me now it's now making sense to you why your father was walking although an elder in church he grew to a certain height and it fell and that's exactly what has been happening he went for deliverance and fell down he got up and the same thing has happened with that it has even gotten worse have you seen people who come and receive some miracles and go back and their families become worse it's a spiritual blackmail to discredit the ministry of the men of god so that they will say they got powers from darkness not everybody got power from that are you getting my point now you see how complicated the body of christ is at this point that's why we need accuracy please don't miss the meetings because there is a there is a construction there is a we want to go back to this foundation what is responsible for the darkness in our lives nothing just happens brothers and sisters as you're seated right now you know that this word you are hearing is the deliverance of your family this word you are hearing some of us who are parents here and are seated we know that this is the puzzle behind the things that are happening hallelujah but it will take light brothers and sisters it takes spiritual intelligence during the monday counseling i was ministering to a lady and as soon as she came and i casted out the spirit and at once the lady just lay down and the lord opened my eyes at once and i saw the spirit in the realm of the spirit it was laughing and i said the lord rebuke you the protocol were here and the, the lady jacked back up somebody would have said thank you jesus and he just get up and say, ah, that's it and the demons would say kai men of god of these days they are not powerful at all say after me the light of god is upon me taking away every darkness and by the power of the holy spirit i become an agent of healing prosperity deliverance and grace to all around me and my family members hallelujah this is what is responsible for many things in our families this is why you find out that certain tribes and certain geographical places are prone to certain attitudes we say these things do not happen but we are seeing it there is a spirit upon the continent of africa that is responsible for what is happening hallelujah you see people come from certain places you see people come from plateau state you see people come from kaduna state from kogi state from lagos from the river and areas you see patterns that are happening yet we say oh it, there's there's nothing wrong i'm okay just declare that i'm okay and you say i'm okay and the demon say i'm fine too i'm fine with you i like this revelation you're having i'm fine with it but when light strikes see there are many of you based on this revelation you will start calling home and your parents will start telling you what is this dream that i'm having what is, you will see that there are shiftings know that is a response to what is happening it's already happening in some families right now you are seeing it you something you just know you can't explain but you know that certain foundations these demon spirits are saying who is this who is this this is le a level of light that is notable 
and they they begin to walk but you see light does not beg darkness authentic light comes and comes to conquer hallelujah this is the mystery behind this healing of hiv and all of these things you are seeing when you understand them no man of god will boast and brag in himself because in all sincerity when you know this it's just a proper application of spiritual intelligence hallelujah what does that mean that you came here with cancer do you believe the lord will heal you yes i believe that's why i came that's good step one when the word of god comes that's the time to shake off cancer from your body and say cancer you had the prophetic word shake it off don't just sit down you are wondering no two more scriptures quickly luke 17 this is an interesting one the story of the ten lepers verse 11 let me show you the dynamics the spiritual technology that is responsible for the miraculous i pray that your eyes will be open to see verse 13 please let's hurry up listen the bible says there were 10 lepers who have been discussing is this how we will continue abi people will come and drop offering or whatever for them and the bible says they had that means they had been they had received an assurance that jesus was able to do it is that true now watch what happened this was their first manifestation of faith when jesus was passing what happened they lifted up are you getting me now and they did what the bible did not say they lifted it and just they just whispered to lift up means they shouted and they said jesus master you know jesus doesn't walk alone i'm sure his peers were saying hurry up they said we may be crippled but our mouth is not crippled we are going to shout till we get your attention listen did jesus respond that's how he will always respond when we manifest faith next verse and when he saw them he said unto them listen hi i love jesus goodness he just said the only reason why you are calling me is because you think i can help you if you really believe stand up go and show yourself as simple as that no grammar of saying okay if i said this then this should grammar that thing we do is not called faith if you take action god is committed listen the bible says and it came to pass watch this as they this is the dynamics listen i want to explain something powerful here as they they were that means their being cleansed was tied to their going as they they were this sign shall not go before if you prove god sent you start moving and he said the signs the signs will follow those who can act this is why we are here tonight hallelujah just one last scripture and then we'll pray goodness my spirit is fired up john 9 let's look at one example of one blind man john 19 verse 1 to 8 but we'll just look at verse 7 jesus came look at me there are so many interesting people that do lots of things in church do you know that there are people that when they come when hands are about to be laid on them they say don't lay hands on me just speak you are a sick patient the doctor said turn for injection you say i don't like injection walk out of the hospital as simple as that when there's a way the sickness will press you that even if the syringe is the type they give a cow you say just give me when you still have options you are not yet pushed to the wall look let me tell you there is a way life will push you to the world that you must react are you getting my point verse 7 are we there 
John, what did I say? John 9, not 19. 9. Listen. Look up, please. Let me just tell the story quickly. Remember the man who was born blind. The Bible says Jesus spat on the floor. Correct? And he started making clay. I can imagine. Well, the man could not see. Now, watch this. I love Jesus. Jesus inspires me. I'm telling you. He said unto him, to who? The blind man. Jesus was not talking to the person who was holding his hand. He spoke to the blind man. He said, oh God, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which by interpretation is sent. And the Bible says he went his way therefore and washed and returned seeing. How will Jesus speak to a blind man? Oh, yeah, I've done my own part. If you like, sit down here for one week. If you are interested, go and wash. Remember what the prophet told Naaman. He said, go to Jordan and bath. While he was giving all those confessions, I will not go. I will go. I will not go. He said, continue. If you want to manifest faith, carry two of your legs, march to Jordan. He was saying, are there no other river? This is, many people think it just stops at talking, talking, talking. Naaman was talking, rapping, standing in front of Elisha's, he didn't even come out. He said, tell him, go and wash and do it seven times. He went there was a very muddy water hallelujah bathed the first time nothing happened he was getting angry but when the word is fulfilled god is committed i can imagine the holy ghost just roaming around that pool number two he could not move because until your obedience is complete number three the guy could not move at a point he would say oh god he said seven times seven seven that was the word number five he would have just left and gone back and the Holy Ghost will say two more times for my spirit to come in. Listen, the Bible says the moment he entered the seventh time, he just came out and he saw his skin. That means the Holy Ghost was waiting anxiously. You do your part. You do your part and see the power of the highest. You do your part and see that cancer melt. You do your part and see that curse broken in your family. hallelujah at the beautiful gate there was a man there the bible says he begged for arms is that true peter and john went to pray at the hour of prayer and the bible says he was begging them he was not begging to stand up because he did not believe are you getting me so he had no reason to take action because he was not convicted but peter did something because faith comes by hearing when you hear of someone's ability he said mr man i don't have money to give you but there is something i have in the name of the lord jesus if you believe i have this he said stand look up the man sat down there and was looking at them and was wondering and peter remembered the teachings of jesus and the bible says peter held his hand and said stand up and the bible says he leaping he leaping he leaping the Holy Ghost was moving Peter. Get this man to take a step. In every area of life, listen, there is a role you have to play. Are you getting me? There's no time I would have shown you how that for every area of your life, when the word came in Samaria, by this time tomorrow nothing happened but the power of god was moving waiting for those who would take action all the people in the land including the emojis did not go and the spirit of god went to four lepers they said we will stay here and die we are lepers but let's stand up the bible says when they went the, the enemy started hearing the sound this is the amplification of the spirit the sound of chariots until there is action you are not manifesting faith if you can get this teaching tonight by the time you are coming for february miracle service you'll be shocked because see this as simple as what i'm sharing is this is the missing link you are praying and fasting but you have not found out the conditions for prosperity it's not demons it will not change 
until the day you find out and walk in it are you getting what i'm saying there are keys that's your part when you see listen i submit to you with all humility are you seeing this crowd that are gathered they did not come by magic if you think it's by magic try it people are not idiots are you getting my point i said by with all humility i hope it doesn't look like i'm bragging i'm just trying to communicate a point do you know what it means for people to come and sit on the fence sit everywhere there are keys if you don't have it you don't have it but when you find it i can imagine the holy ghost based on the conviction he gave us while we started preparing as decoration was working the power of god said now you are responding based on what you believe i'll do tonight therefore let me begin to bring all the people to honor the word don't you see that this is how faith works listen there are many people who will never marry because they are waiting until the day a sponsor or a donor gives them two million god has spoken to you marrying you how much do you have hundred thousand but god said start moving he said hey lord I, this girl's parents the way they looked at me that day what is your business this sign shall follow the moment you are going your uncle starts calling and says i just felt like calling you he did not just feel the holy ghost the one who confirms the word hallelujah listen the sister who gave a testimony about the change in her result imagine if they prayed for her now a prophetic word had come is that not true she sat down she said lord i believe your word what did she do she got up as she was did you see that when they checked they did not find her paper but god said am i too small and you just dropped the paper on the table did you not hear the testimony listen when you play your part i'm telling you in an inexplainable way god is committed and tonight i want you to know that your part is to have come see i tell people with all humility that for coming to this ground alone is already 50 percent of your problem so you know why hold on if you know the demonic forces that as many people hear what happened this morning and the way the devil tried to stop them from coming many of you will agree with me that things came up some of you didn't even have money but you said if it means trekking i will trek while you were trekking the holy ghost was saying mark them mark them practitioners of the world they must be blessed tonight some of you came outside and you still sat down your friend said let's go back you said i'm not going back you can go but this night although i'm outside my ministry must change my business must change this cancer must die rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues in one minute god is about to do mighty things in this place rise up on your feet everybody Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I'm convinced that you are able. You can change my story. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. In a few minutes, the Lord will do mighty things in this place. Stories 
And say, Lord, I have come tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Please listen to me. I tell you the truth. I came here tonight with a very unusual unction. I know the things that I've been the head of department prayer band. He even sensed it. I remember he sent me a text. Hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost is in a place, nobody can tell the extent of devastation he can do to the kingdom of hell. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, no matter how far you are, make sure tonight, as you hear the word, listen, I don't know the issue that you came here with. I can only communicate the few because of time constraint. And because we see in part i must not mention your case are you getting what i'm saying this atmosphere carries an anointing so no matter how far no matter what the issue is it will bow it will bow tonight hallelujah listen Listen, as I begin to rebuke sicknesses, we're going to be very fast. We don't have time for a lot of things. Hallelujah. God has showed me that there will be dramatic, dramatic, instant healings. Dramatic, instant healings. Now listen, please. When we begin to pray, I don't know if we'll call the people out and lay hands or whatever it is we will do. Make sure, remember the teaching. You must take action. You must take action. That action, look at what our mommy shared. Remember the, the, the testimony our mommy shared. Do you know that we brought, I sent that they should bring a seat for her. What? She refused. As a proof to the devil. Are you getting my point? That, that I may be old, but I'm well. Are you ready to drop those chains now? There is no need. Please hear me. There is no need tonight to walk away with whatever situation. For there is a name. There are families represented here tonight. Tonight you will pass the Red Sea and you will part with Egypt forever. families under bondages yokes there are many of us who have come under spells it's time for us to check those devils out of the lives of people because the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possession
Hallelujah. I tell you, if you see what the Lord is showing me in the spirit, goodness, the devil is in trouble this night. Lift your hands, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Father. Please lift your hands inside and outside. Hallelujah. Hear me wherever you are. The power of God is going to begin to move across the crowd. And everywhere you are, there is a name tonight that is above every demon, every yoke, every spell. And at the mention of that name, devils will leave hallelujah hallelujah at the count of three wherever you are goodness there will be so much deliverances outside listen as i count three i want you to shout that name that's your action of faith at the top of your voice and we will begin to command this wicked spirit already the power of god is moving are you ready now one, two, three. Hoshaka ta 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 ta. Rekete kotaba. I call spirits. I call devils. Devils, come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Now, come out! Go cross the border. Outside! Outside! The fire of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire is falling outside. Lift up your hands. Oh, ye gates. I command spirits. Devils. Let those people go now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Outside, the fire of God is falling. The fire of God is falling. Outside, the fire of God. Every yoke, every curse, every covenant, every ordinance of darkness. Help the ushers, please. If they need more people, help them. Let's save time. Let's save time. We don't have time, please. The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside, falling outside, every spell, hallelujah. Just those outside, lift your hands. The first overflow and the second, both of you lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout, Jesus, there will be a rain of deliverance. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Hallelujah. Please follow me. We have to hurry up. Listen. 
goodness. There are people here, listen. You can't sleep sound in the night. Someone must come and sleep with you or oppress you. There are people who see snakes. This lady is one of them. Let her go. Come out now. Out. Out. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Her praise Kabbalah. Da, da, da. Out. Hallelujah. Now listen, please. Please, let's hurry up. Just follow me. Just keep bringing them. Goodness. There are so many angels outside. Capren de Gambo. There's no hiding. Not in the light of God. Second. Enterekaba. Let her go now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I challenge you right now in the name of Jesus. Break every chain out of her now. Now. Come out of her right now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her right now. Let her go now. Now. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break Listen. Listen. Many of you don't know why. Listen. Hear me. Please listen. Let's hurry up. Do you know that behind the situation of many people are the workings of these wicked spirits? Listen to me, please. Don't let anybody fool you. There are some of you, you may not need to fall, but deliverance is already happening to you. So don't you think it's just those that come out? No. Once the word goes, some of you are already feeling things leaving you. Look, look at this girl for instance. You really believe a lady will have this strength? Three people holding her. Wickedness is real. Leave her alone. On your knees and out of her. Quickly, just leave her. On your knees and out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Watch the power of faith, all of you. Watch, just... No, don't worry. Don't concentrate on her when she does it. Leave her alone. Listen. Listen. You see why it's good to be spiritual? Because now, one brother will just get up and come. You don't know where you are I'm not talking about her now. Please. Nobody should stigmatize her. Are you getting my point? One brother just comes and bounces. You don't know what is happening around the spiritual arena of somebody's life. You come and enter into something that will weep out. Look at, she cannot even go out. Look at, she's standing at the door. She can't even cross the door. She will go on her knees. Don't worry. You will see the authentic power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Behind the pain of many families is the operation of darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many of our families, some of you as you are standing here, don't think God is visiting you alone. You should understand us here. Your salvation is not complete until your household is touched. 
these are the spirits that's why you try and try you keep doing this is what has stopped the admission of others this is what has stopped the marriage of others this is what has killed the destiny of many people but tonight you will part ways with it forever now i want to pray i see a lot of many of you will be surprised what will happen now hallelujah there are so many people that are tormented in their dreams listen to me you can't have a sound sleep but you see people come animals chasing you all kinds of devilish demonic things snakes some of you having intercourse with all kinds of people whether a man whether a woman when you are about to go for a job interview these things happen to you and that's the end of it it doesn't matter what happens tonight there will be a separation once and for all lift up your hands again please lift up your hands let's hurry up whether they are causes whether they are yokes whether they are manifestations of spirit husband spirit wife wherever that devil is as you shout jesus i see fire fire will move from inside to outside and many people will be delivered right now at the count of three are you ready thank you father let your fire move right now one two three go 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 spirit husband spirit wife demons of darkness ancestral causes go 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 serpents scorpions marine spirits out 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 by the fire of the holy ghost for all these people outside i'm speaking to the spirits now at the count of three the fire of god burns you out of these people every spirit hear my voice i speak from the realm of the spirit right now the fire of the holy ghost one Oh, my God. 
You go and return no more. Leave them. Leave them. Go and return no more. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. You have peptic ulcer. Lay your hands on your chest right now. Quickly, please. Please, let's save time. Peptic ulcer. God is healing peptic ulcer now. Now, I don't know if we have all the time. Hallelujah. We want to take a few instant testimonies. Some of these people, when they stand up from being delivered, many of them will stand up with all kinds. Some of them are having visionary experiences right now. I hear the chains falling. Falling, yeah. I give the chains. I give the chains. Oh, she packet a kitaya. I give the chains. Seco pedia shakata. I give the chains. Now, listen. Listen. Let me explain this. We always do, but for the sake of those who are coming, don't you think that those who are being delivered here are witches? Are you getting my point? Because as you are standing there, you are receiving your own deliverance. This is a family. This is an oppression of darkness. We don't want to know what the reasons are. They must go. Are you getting my point now? Peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus. God is going to heal peptic ulcer right away. Some of you, listen. Some of you will feel. Let me see how many people with peptic ulcer inside and outside. Just lift your hands. Let me know. All right, quickly. As I pray for you, for many of you, you will feel something lift off you. If that happens to you, run out quickly and come out. Run out quickly, please. Let's save time. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of black substances around the chest of people. I cause that devil of ulcer. I command the wound heal now. Heal and close up now. Heal and close up now. Not later. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regina. Regina. Who is Regina? Regina. Please, when I call your name, quickly, quickly, hurry up. Regina. The Lord, the Lord is setting your family free from witchcraft. Are you hearing me? This is what God is doing. This lady is going to begin to cough out things. Please take her outside. Come. She's going to begin to cough out things. Out of her now. Take her outside, please. Please clean this up. The Lord is setting your family free. Look at me. You will begin to see dramatic things happen in your family because this has been the finger of darkness. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be healing. Let there be restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, there's someone, there's someone here. You feel movement around your right leg. 
you literally feel like an object like a snake moving around especially when you're on your bed who is that person the lord is revealing to me please quickly let's save time once i mention your case just come out quickly so that whether you are inside or outside let's just hurry up very quickly we don't have time goodness help us lord the devil is in trouble tonight hallelujah thank you sir you are the person okay hold on you've been having this pain please tell us how has it been yeah it started from here listen listen please for about three years now about three years what do you feel sir feel pain here they scanned so nothing they scanned there was nothing and you feel it moving yes up to now I'm even... up till now even now as you're talking watch it disappear now watch it disappear you, you are an elderly man you get my point so you will not come and be lying when it's not done but you watch and see what the power of god will do because they scanned it medically goodness please let me do something quickly i see this lady wearing a crown let it go in the name of jesus christ lay your hands on her anybody lay your hands thank you jesus by the fire of the holy ghost let her go now all our workers are anointed it doesn't matter who lays hands on them out an anointed hand is upon you and you must go in the name of the lord jesus christ sir look at me the lord jesus brings you healing complete healing thank you jesus i want to rebuke that spirit right now that devil of darkness let him go right now in the name of jesus wow something is happening to you you feel something happening to you in the name of jesus christ that devil go now in the name of jesus can you walk now just shake your leg you feel pain only here where right here all right lay your hands lay your hands lay your own hands there The power of God is going through you that very place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause pain. Tell me, do you feel any pain there? You feel any pain there? It's going. It's going right. Look at him smiling. It's going right. Now check it. Check it. Thank you. Thank you. What is happening? Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Go, go, everything will be. Thank you, Jesus. Now bend down. Go ahead, bend down. Just no, not kneel down. Just bend down, up and down. Exercise, yes. And watch the pain leave. Any pain, any pain. Come on now. Give Jesus strength. Any pain there now. It's going. It's going. Where, where exactly? You should be totally healed. What did the doctors tell you? These are demonic things. About, about, about six. Six years. Five or six scanning. Anytime, listen. Anytime you scan, you see the doctors checking, checking. And they tell you, we don't know what is wrong. Save yourself headache. Just come for prayers quick. Because it's the classic sign that this is the finger of God. This is the finger of Satan. It's exactly three years. It's exactly three years. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I'm healed. In, in Jesus' name. Now, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Go ahead. Hit, hit yourself there. That's what I want. Until you don't feel any pain. What do you feel? Everything. Everything. When everything, when everything disappears, look at God healing. Regina, Madam, ah, now wow, look at the spirit of death lingering over you. The devil would have taken your life in an accident. It would have been an accident, a bike accident. A car would hit you and kill you. That would be the end of it. Are you married? Where's your husband? We have to pray for him too. But well, let me pray for you. I cast that spirit of death. 
Go. No death. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Your mom feels movement. Hold my hands. We set her mom free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, there's somebody, please listen. This, this is where the pain is. The Lord is showing me. Just this side. I don't know whether it is, it's a bump, it's a pain, it's a swelling. Very serious at this side of your neck. Please, who is that person? The Lord is healing that person right now. The Lord is healing that person right now. Very quickly, the Lord is healing that person. The Lord is healing that person right now. Please, quickly, quickly, let's save time. The Lord is healing that person right now. Quickly, the Lord is healing that person. Come, you are the first person God will heal. The devil wants to bring madness on you. Hold on, look at me first. Don't show me your back. You, wait. The devil wants to bring madness on you. This is how you would have seen this guy. I don't know who knows him. You would have seen him walking on the street. Because it's a, sometimes you sit. Do you have any feeling? Maybe you are not yourself. You have those yes sir you have those kind of feelings sometimes you feel as if you don't even it's like you don't know yes this is madness this thing would have come upon you last year it was because of the hand of god and the devil was determined that this year this madness must follow you but tonight god will deliver you you believe me we have to pray for you because i'm seeing you tied in the spirit this is what i'm seeing tied completely god is touching someone there bring the lady let hope rise. I command that madness. Go right now. I see. Look at what is happening to him. Look at look at this. Look at this. How can somebody just start scratching his head because I said go? This is madness. The devil wanted to put up. Go, 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 go. Out of him right now. Take your devilish madness back to hell. Hallelujah. What's she here for? Your neck. Now, all of you, lay your hands. God will heal you right now. Please look at the number of people. How can I just guess that your neck is failing you? Lay your hands. The power of God will touch you right now. Bring that lady for me. You must go now. I'm seeing an altar burning. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. I'm seeing a shrine on fire. This is what is happening to this girl. I'm seeing a shrine. A shrine catching fire. Every shrine. Every devil's shrine. Where your name and that of your family member has been taken to. It catches fire now. It catches fire now. hallelujah goodness god is going to do a fantastic miracle outside i'm seeing a hole in the teeth covering outside god is filling up supernaturally a hole in the teeth please check it if you confirm you are the one don't tell us lies here please confirm it and come out god is god is filling holes holes literally literally to close up hallelujah now ladies god wants to do a number of things irregular menstruation god is going to heal a lot of these things and then lump lump in the breast or around wherever abdominal region hallelujah lift your hands everybody i want to pray 
remember action when i pray for you check yourself right now every lump in any part of anyone's body whether in the breast area in the back at the abdomen around any part of the body in the name of the lord jesus i cause that growth now let it disappear now let it disappear now let it disappear now 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 long go in the name of jesus now begin to check yourself begin to check yourself hallelujah now let's do this quickly every every other person if you came here specifically for a healing miracle please come out and line up here or if you brought somebody please just line up ushers protocol help us arrange them please please be very orderly no fighting let's hurry up while that is happening how many of you have not written your prayer requests please write it quickly quickly write it quickly and let's have it you came specifically whether within zaria or outside zaria you came specifically for healing hallelujah specifically for healing please let's save time you can see that we're really out of time we started late hallelujah myself and bishop will minister to you listen please as we pray for you expect the power of god to touch you and as the power of god touches you begin to check yourself as you go back to your seat please come out line up once we pray for the first row just give thanks and the rest will just be praying in tongues worship team you're going to lead us very hot worship as we do this very very quickly hallelujah bishops so we're going to pray for you some of you are coming out what will happen is these wicked spirits that are responsible for these things will leave you are you following me now i know that there are some of you standing in for your loved ones so as we pray call them there are some of you put your phone on speaker when it's time to prophesy tell your loved ones a word is coming wherever they are let the power of god touch them hallelujah bless you worship team you are the great and mighty god so greatly to be praised beautiful for all situations you are the joy of the whole world you are the great and mighty god so greatly to be praised beautiful for all situations you are the joy of
affects him anyway. okay but but we're going to pray that is a you came here and the lord jesus is going to visit you right now we don't fake what you see here there is a name that is above every other name hallelujah it doesn't matter who lays hands on you brothers and sisters there is an anointing yeah are you getting what i'm saying hallelujah i am serving the living God Out! His Out! Name Out! Is Jesus Out! Christ I see him die This is what I see He dies And he rose And he gave me victory I Serving. I am serving the living God. Check it. Check it. 
legs goodness since when ten years ten years how do are you a witness is you that brought what what how do how does it shift she will fall and can hold on look at me look at me in the name of the Lord Jesus look at me look at me just look at me in the name of the Lord Jesus Nikab, I speak to you by the power of the Holy Spirit no shifting for you again from today I bring you the authority of the kingdom and the spirit that sponsors this wickedness out now I command your ligaments I command everything like Ezekiel 37 to be back walk what do you feel what do you feel look at come up her ligaments for 10 years she, she falls down by herself. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Look at this. Her kneecap used to shift. Her kneecap used to shift. You are come, come, come on. Who are you to her? Who are you to her? A family friend. You are a what? Family friend. You know her. You know that this is true. Sister, look, look at the girl crying. Could she do this before? She couldn't do this. Her kneecap will shift and she will fall. That devil is a liar. Whatever the devil has taken out of its place, we bring it back in the name of Jesus. See, God is working on her. That wicked spirit, out! Come out right now. How dare you come upon the altar of God? Out! Out! Now, this is the... You see that? I told you many things. There are wicked spirits behind the activities of men. Let's hurry up. He died and rose. Jesus died. Then he said 13. They what? 13. They, they initiated him. They initiated him into what? 
they give him food, then he'll be seeing spiritual something. You, you'll be seeing spiritual something that you, if he tell you, you'll be surprised. Oh, they initiated him. That devil is a liar. Bring him up. Uh -uh, don't, 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 please don't cry. Hmm. She's your daughter. It's okay. See, mommy, look, let me tell you. Including you, God will set, God is setting her free. You should be happy. Don't cry. This boy will be delivered right now. Boy, how are you? You are good. They initiated you. Yes. Eh? That are carrying him go. They say they should carry him. That they will not allow him to go to, to stay for that school. And me, I want him to be there. You look at this. Hallelujah. Telling them that this water is blood. If they are playing, you'll be telling them that see this thing, see this thing. You'll be very functional. And mommy, listen. It's not the fault of the boy. This is this is demonic. Are you getting my point? This is why Jesus brought you here today. Keep in the house, whatever you keep in the house, he will not be there when you kept it. But if he enter, he knows where he sits and he will carry it. No matter where you keep it. Yes. You used to steal. What does he do with it? He, he was even at times the father kept ten thousand. Even I myself, I didn't know that there was money there. He went there, he carried the money with his friend, and they finished the money. How old is he? He's eleven. Eleven years. Eleven. It was 11 in December. Watch your child be delivered upon Mount Zion. Look at this woman. I'll be fasted 21 days. They will tell me that even I myself have seen a hand holding him. I'll be forcing myself, calling him, he should come back. He will not turn back to look at me. The, the man will be holding him going. And one woman said that he cannot come out of this. But I believe that the God has served that he can do for me. That is why I'm here. I believe. So let hope rise. Darkness dwells in your holy. at me he speaks english he speaks english say after me jesus jesus i love you i love you from today from today i set myself free i set myself by the power of the blood by the power of the blood. from any covenant from any covenant and any initiation any initiation from today yes. i belong to jesus i belong to jesus satan Satan, pack your load, pack your load, and go. And go. I have no business. I have no business with you. With you. I declare. I declare that I am for Jesus. I am. Satan, you had him. Goodbye. Let him go now. Out. This same thing is happening to some that lady. That's all. It's a family covenant. Are you seeing it now? I see as I'm praying for him. It's happening to her. It's a covenant. Don't cry, mommy. This is what is happening. How can I be praying for somebody here? The same thing is happening. In the realm of the spirit, there's no distance. They are tied by blood. That's it. As he was making this confession, you can see it affecting her too. These are spiritual laws. He he will keep this one by saying, because this one was revealed. We don't have all the time. Don't worry, mommy. From today, listen. It's okay. It's okay. Please, please, please. We beg you. Eh? Look at me. I assure you, you will return next week or next miracle service with all these children testifying. Boy, look at me. Can you see those people again? No. Can you see them again? No. You can't see any of them again. You will never see them again. 
and the same way you have been set free i set that lady free now leave her alone no no, no i'm not talking to you people i'm speaking to the spirit go now how can it know that i'm talking am i not talking to everybody here madam it's okay i need to set you free huh i'm seeing your head tied with a snake you see snakes now even snake, even devil. hold on do you know me madam have i ever seen you how did i know that snake is tying you mm. this is your own because we need to pray for you too oh that girl what's the problem leave her ah, ah, is that why you're holding her just leave her alone Let's pray, please. We have to hurry up. Goodness. Don't worry, don't worry. God will heal you right now. Shout, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Are you ready? I hear the chains falling. It's all right mommy you are free you and your family salvation comes to you this night in jesus name she's okay she's free please while this is happening start passing your prayer request inside outside please quickly start passing your prayer request if you've not written it write it when we are prophesying you are free to call your loved ones and let them connect or if you have whatever point of contact no problem it's scriptural he will pick a knife that he wants to kill his see another episode here what he will pick a knife that he wants to kill his immediate elder brother he will pick a knife that wants to kill him my brother how are you well done you love jesus you wait now he's not the one look at me look at me we give people here among other things spiritual intelligence you understand no man can just get up please while you're listening be passing your prayer request god answers prayers in miraculous ways here yes. In case you wanted to write something and you've not written it, please write it quickly. Whatever it is. So, he's, he, you didn't come for yourself, just for him. My brother, how are you? What's your name? Clement. Clement. You love Jesus? Yes. You'll be delivered right now. Alright? He carried knife to kill who? His elder brother. Why? Just like that. I was in school. They called me. They had to lock him. They released him yesterday so that they locked him in the police station for three days because he carried knife to kill his brother so they released him yesterday so that he will come for this miracle service the devil is a liar brother look at me you will be set free right now you have taken all the glory you have taken all the praise you have taken all the let him go now. Every foul devil. In the name of Jesus. Go. Every desire to
he has appetite. How old is he? Go, go, go. Eh? How old? Nine years and his SS. And we are going to change genotypes in this place today. Don't ever believe. Hear me. Hear me. Don't you ever let anybody tell you you must remain SS or AS for the rest of your life. I'm not negating medicine, but I'm telling you there is power to change it. If this is the only miracle you have, I know many people who cannot marry today because they said they are SS. We will change it. If God cannot do it, then he is not God. But I think God is able, isn't it? Hallelujah. I change this SS now. The next time it's tested, let it be found AA. Hepatitis, go! In the name of Jesus. As you're guarding the request, just begin to bring it. We have to kill many birds with one stone. Please, hurry up. We really apologize for the time. You can see how much the time is constrained. We can't do much. And help me, please. Some of you can see me, please, Bishop. Let's so that we'll tidy it up. Okay, let's, let's, don't worry. Cause hear the rain is falling. I hear the rain, and I'm not ashamed, not afraid, and I'm not afraid. Not afraid.
Submit your prayer request. It will go now. Look at me. Just look at me. Let her go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Just look at me. has an incision they did an incision for her native doctor and don't worry please we don't have all the time for the explanation whatever it is Jesus is Lord in Jesus name go let her go in the name of Jesus Christ be set free now Hallelujah. Please, we don't have all the time. Bishop, come. Hallelujah. We are going to pray on this request. Please stand up. Please bear with us. But every part of this meeting is important. Please, please and please. Just two more things and we are out of here. You can see how the time constraint. There is so much we want to do but... Hallelujah. Now listen. God answers prayers in dramatic supernatural ways here hallelujah and as we pray i'd like you to stretch your hands towards the altar hallelujah and just pray in tongues lots of miracles will start happening to people and for your family members after that i'll now speak into your life this is the best part of the meeting stretch your hands please stretch your hands even as we pray thank you jesus Impossible. 
Sataya Bakoti Brahakata Sataya Thank you Jesus Father we give you praise We thank you We present our request before you The things that we desire That you do for us Lord we pray in Jesus name That from this night We will begin to celebrate these miracles In the name of Jesus Thank you Father Some of the requests look impossible But with God all things are possible Thank you Father Thank you Jesus For we are celebrating the miracles The successes In the name of Jesus None will go unanswered in the name of Jesus unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly we present this request in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus name hallelujah give Jesus a shout of praise please stand up everybody inside and outside hallelujah hallelujah he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them the bible says believe the lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper as i speak over your life i want you to believe please please believe and return with mighty testimonies we don't have all the time to do the things we want to do but we want to challenge thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Listen, and the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called them, that's what they became. Whatsoever Adam called them. The Bible says he brought the animals to him to see what he will call them. And he told Job, Hast thou commanded thy morning? We're about to speak. Prophecy is very powerful, brothers and sisters. This is the moment where everyone can participate, including your loved ones who are not here. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease in this place, everything called terminal disease, everything called terminal disease, in the name that is above all names, I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, that sickness leaves your body now. 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 Every SS an AS genotype right now the Lord who has done it uncountable times in this place my God let SS and AS change to AA now change to AA now change to AA now change to AA now with medical proof change to AA now every HIV in this place anyone with any deadly virus HIV cancer diabetes in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now with medical proof be healed now I command your spirit responsible go go in the name of Jesus everything that has tied your progress everything that has tied your progress in the name that is above every other name i lose you from it now i lose you from it now i lose you from those chains now now anyone here trusting god for a job both for you and your loved ones. Hey, brother, take ba, 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 ba. We release miracle jobs now. We release miracle jobs now. I speak it into your life. 
I command it into your destiny. I command it into your family. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hallelujah. Every spirit of delay that is working in the life of anyone here. Things you should have accomplished. Something has pulled you down. There are levels you would have been right now. I command right now, according to the anointing of the Spirit upon my life, let there be acceleration now. Acceleration now. Acceleration now. I challenge the powers that hold you down. Let them go. I challenge the forces. I challenge the altars. I challenge the act of witchcraft. I release you now. Anyone's marital destiny. Hear me. For you and for your loved ones. Anyone's marital destiny that has been tied down. Whether you are married or not. There are people who are married. It's like they are not married. There are others that should marry. And there are powers that have said you will not get married. This night, Cap, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I open up marital doors. I open up marital doors. God protected me. I open up marital doors. I open up marital doors. Thank you, Jesus. I pray everything responsible for inexplainable academic failure. You are doing your best. You write exams. The result comes out and you know it's not your own. I prophesy right now upon your life whatever is not your own, I take it out of your life. Whatever result that is not your own, I take it out in the name of Jesus. I command corrections. I command adjustments in the name of Jesus. For those who have been victimized by any lecturer, you are supposed to get A they gave you E. I command let there be a restoration. That restoration must happen. Hallelujah. Anyone barren here? Low spam count, fibroid, whatever it is, I don't care what it's called. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Return with your miracle children. Return with your miracle children. Every barren womb be open now. Hallelujah. All the ladies here that are going to every devil call painful menstruation or irregular menstruation i don't want to know what the name is i don't care how long it has been from this night i challenge the altars responsible be free be free be free Hallelujah. I pray for your finances in the name that is above all names. In 2014, we prophesy, let doors beyond your imagination, we open them now. Now. Financial doors, financial opportunities, Every yoke, every curse, 
every spell that brings poverty despite your giving I curse it now hallelujah I pray every dead spiritual life in this place there are some of you you came here as a matter of life and death I command every dead spiritual life let an unction come upon you right now as I speak I fire it back in the name of Jesus prayer life come alive now come alive now come alive now what life come alive now let the spirit of revelation come upon you now come upon you now that anointing of favor that can come upon a man's life many of you don't understand i want to activate something in your life i pray that anointing of favor that can separate a man for no reason i pray as surely as the lord god of israel lives, may that man do hit you now may it come upon your life i pray for your family members whatever the devil said they will not get this year whatever project building project house project whatever has tied your family i prophesy lord god of heaven let there be a rain of testimony rain of testimony whatever you have lost and whatever your family members have lost some of you have lost relationships some of you opportunities let there be a restoration now a restoration now hallelujah and i pray that that presence of god that goes with a man i pray for every ministry represented here every ministry that is represented here i command begin to move in strange levels of unction strange levels of wisdom strange levels of revelation I release angelic encounters. I release prophetic encounters. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. I want to activate the gift of the spirit. We have a few minutes. Very, very few. But lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm just going to prophesy. Many people will receive impartations of different kinds of gifts. There are some of you that need activation right now in the name of Jesus. Rakatatata. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. 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 Give of prophecy. Take it. Give of healing. Take it. Inside and outside. Receive it. Healing anointing. Miracle working anointing, prophetic anointing, apostolic anointing, entrepreneurial anointing. Take it, take it, leadership mantle, take it, prophetic revelation, take it, take it. I command your eyes to be open may you see what others don't see anyone marked for death in this place anyone marked in the spirit realm for death in the name of the Lord Jesus I cast that spirit now 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 spirit of death go 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 go
next week with dramatic testimonies whatever you wrote here as your prayer request i prophesy according to the anointing in the name of jesus may your hand receive it may you walk in it hallelujah listen to me keep standing i'm going to make an altar call right now inside and outside there are many people that need the lord jesus christ you have seen the works of the kingdom right now i want to give you an opportunity there may be a number of you who have never made a decision for jesus especially many of you outside some of you were invited for the first time there are some of you who have given your heart to the lord but for some reason you found yourself derailing now is the time to call you back home no one condemns you but we are giving you an opportunity i'm going to count one to five no matter how far you are please don't let anybody stop you the name of the lord is a strong tower one start running now please leave your seat and come out two outside don't let anybody stop you find your way to the front no matter how far quickly 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 god bless you they are coming god bless you they are coming god bless you they are coming coin only appreciate them they are coming don't let the devil stop you don't let your friends stop you this is the beginning of a great journey young and old everyone you are invited you're most welcome god bless you hallelujah look at me thank you very much for this bold decision god bless you as you come keep coming hallelujah even if you are still outside as god is speaking to you come don't let anybody um, stop you from receiving this great blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to lead you to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is an experience that you will never recover from. Hallelujah. The Lord desires to use you. He desires to make a mighty tool out of you. And that you spend eternity with him. I'd like you to lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. This is a real experience. You are talking to a real person. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I confess that I cannot help myself. Tonight, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I repent of my sins. I receive remission right now. I invite Jesus to come into my heart be the lord of my life save me cleanse me wash me holy spirit come and live in me do wonders through my life from today i make progress never to return to my past i'm free of every guilt i'm free of every condemnation in the name of the lord jesus christ now let me pray for you father thank you for these ones every wicked spirit that keeps them in sin i curse it now i declare that this decision they have made will be authentic make mighty men and women out of them i curse every spirit every foul devil that is responsible for keeping you in any state of life you do not want in the name of jesus i set you free and i declare that from today you are making spiritual progress in jesus name god bless you congratulations welcome to the biggest family please i'd like you to follow the ushers the gentlemen waving their hands to you they'll welcome you and they'll give you some instructions god bless you in the name of jesus hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season 
it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 